You know, you got a lot of nerves showing up here. I'll give you that. Yeah. Apparently, I do. If I can just start by saying... You're sorry? No, let's just skip that, okay? I'd like to just give the people the facts. I really want them to know exactly what you've done. Go ahead. I met him on a gay dating site. Yeah, dating site. A dating site about four months ago. And there was nothing in your profile that admitted that you were HIV positive. And I don't believe that by virtue of the fact that I cruise gay dating sites, that I should be obligated to share private medical information. Deadly information. About my personal health. It shouldn't be public in that sort of venue. All that night, you had the chance to tell me something. You had the chance to say something way before we had sex. That I night. wasn't sure it was going to go there. Oh, please. And then we had sex. And from my understanding, it is the riskiest sex I could possibly have with an HIV positive person. Because I talked to you? Are you going to mention that I used a condom? Yes, fine, he did. Which was my idea? Because you were lying to me. Because you said absolutely nothing. I did what I knew would protect you. And would protect me too, I might add. Protect you? You're amazing. Okay, so that wasn't the only time, because if it had been a one-night stand, I never would have let that happen in the first place. Because I, I, I liked you, and we made plans, and we saw each other. We hooked up a few more times. And yes. all of those times, you never, never, never did you say anything about the fact that you were carrying a deadly virus. You never said anything until I found out for myself in your bathroom. And you looked in places that were private. Are you really going to keep banging the drum about privacy? You're disgusting. So I'm in your bathroom and I find a ton of pills and I came to you right away. I asked you. You were accusing me right away. You knew what they were and you started screaming at me. Yeah. Poor guy getting screamed at because you lied and lied. I did not lie. I, I couldn't. I, I knew we were using protection. I knew that I was healthy. You knew a lot of things, but you weren't telling me any of it. Look. I've lived with this thing for more than 10 years. It's a whole different world when you're trying to date somebody and you never get a freaking phone call back as soon as they find out that you're positive. Oh my God, cry me a river. And I knew I was healthy. I knew that. I haven't had a detectable viral load in years. You I lied to me. I trusted you and I thought there was something going on between us and you betrayed all of that because you wanted to get laid. What I wanted was to get to know you, to, to show you that I was a healthy, functioning person. You know I could have you arrested. There are laws against people like you. There are laws. Yes, there are laws that make me a lethal weapon, that call me a bioterrorist, and they fly in the face of everything we know about the risk of HIV infection. There are people out there right now who are spreading HIV, who are intentionally infecting other people. That person is a criminal, and, and that person should go to jail. jail. And I'm the one that gets sent to jail? Did I suddenly become psychopathic when I got HIV, it's trying to infect everyone that I sleep with? You still have a responsibility. Didn't you have a responsibility to ask me? I, I was there. I was there in bed with you. And I am the one that pulled out the condom, if you'll recall. It was me. Wait, yeah. wait a second. What do you say? I'm saying that I could have bare back to you if I wanted to. And you can't tell me that you haven't been in situations with someone who did not disclose their HIV status with whom you did not use a rubber. Don't tell me that because I won't believe it. No one would not tell me they were positive and then do that. People misjudge. They make mistakes. They're afraid. They're human. They're, they're afraid of being stigmatized. And that's why we have these laws to make sure people act with some sense. There are laws against sex between races. There are laws against sex between men. They were wrong. But wait, those are not situations that involve a deadly virus. That is so 1980s. I, I'm sorry, but HIV is not deadly anymore. Not for people like me. Look, someone knew what they were doing when they made these laws. The people who made these laws don't give a shit about you. They were meant to demonize people with HIV. They're a stand-in for homophobia and racism. The people who made these laws don't want us having sex at all. Oh, man up. I know you're pissed off. I understand your anger. I understand it a lot better than I used to, okay? But personal anger should not be the driving force behind putting people into jail. I mean, this whole thing is like townspeople with pitchforks. Are you done? Is your grand anthropological argument over? Because at the end of the day, this comes down to you and me and what happened between us. Exactly. If you think you've been wronged by me, if you think you've been damaged somehow by my not telling you I was positive and you're not asking, then take it to civil court somewhere. Don't tempt me. I still have options. Don't I know it? Are we done here? I certainly hope so. Good. I've heard about enough. Thanks for hearing it. I meant no harm. I wish you well. Fine. Thanks. Have a nice life.